guys. So uh, today I thought I would film a full day of eating, show you everything that I eat uh, in a whole day. And first things first, as soon as I wake up, after I've been for a wee, I will uh, weigh myself. And it's important to do that, I think, at the same time every single day so that you get a consistent measurement. And then I usually take the, uh, the weekly average so I can uh, figure out what my progress is like if I'm trying to gain or lose weight. So let's go get on the scales. So I've actually put on uh, nearly a pound since yesterday, but you know that can really vary day to day depending on what you've eaten, how much salt you've had, which affects how much water you retain. So I'm not gonna take too much uh, notice of that. I'm gonna measure it at the end of the week and have a look at the average to see how much I've gained. So uh, first things first, every morning I start with uh, a glass of lemon water, about 20 ounces of water and one whole lemon, uh, the juice of it. And what that does is helps to clean out your lymphatic system. And uh, I just really like it as well because it's a good potent flavor to blow the cobwebs away. So before I work out, uh, first thing in the morning, I do like to eat something, uh, but I like to not eat anything that's too uh, filling. So what I do is I take three of these medjool dates and I just cut them open, take the pits out and stuff them with peanut butter. Great tip from uh, Derek Sinnott there. So that actually gets me about 50 grams of carbs, which is plenty to be able to fuel the workout. And I find I get a much better pump than doing that versus if I, uh, if I work out fasted. So. and they also taste absolutely amazing. Mm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go hit the gym, got a pool workout to do. Had to actually uh, change my top because I spilled toothpaste all down myself. <laughs> it's a pretty typical start to the day for me, but uh, let's hit the gym and I will see you when I get back for breakfast. Okay, so just got back from the gym and had an awesome pool workout. Uh, you know when you have one of those days when everything just seems to go right and you really make a good muscle connection every time? That was today. So now time for a celebratory post-workout meal. And uh, I tend to eat one of two things as my post-workout meal. I'll either have a smoothie bowl or I will have uh, some oatmeal. And uh, that's pretty much determined as to whether my roommates are still in bed or not. As it happens today, one of them is not going to work, so she's still gonna be sleeping. So that means I'm not gonna be using the Vitamix because that would just be rude. So uh, I'm gonna make a bowl of oatmeal and I'm gonna show you how. So first things first, add in the oats. I'm using about three quarters of a cup here. Second thing, add in a banana. And this is absolutely crucial step. Do not skip this smash the banana into the oats before you do anything else. And I try to mash it all up so that there's not a single oat left that's not sticking to a piece of banana. So next I'm gonna add in my Vivo Life uh, protein powder, salted maca caramel, this is the best flavor. And I'm gonna uh, put that in a little shaker and shake it up with some soy milk. I use soy milk because I'm looking to gain some weight right now, so I want the extra calories from soy milk over water or almond milk. And then just take a fork and gradually start mixing that up. Then I just take an apple and slice that up into little pieces. That's gonna be my topping to go on top. Always gotta eat one piece, because it's just too good. And then I'm gonna take a couple of uh, medjool dates and just slice those up as small as you could possibly get them. These are not the dried variety, so they're a little bit sticky, but I prefer them. Just sprinkle all that on top. And then I'm gonna add some Engine 2 Plant Strong Granola. This granola is the best. It's oil-free, it's honey-free, and uh, absolutely delicious, so check it out. Okay, so I'm not actually counting calories, and I didn't really measure anything today, but I would guess that's probably about seven or 800 calories of uh, food in there, and uh, probably 35, 40 grams of protein um, across everything. So I'm gonna enjoy that. That is gonna keep me going until probably at least uh, 10 or 11 o'clock. So cheers guys. OK, 
Okay, so it's about 11.30 now and I've held out as long as I can. I need to eat some lunch. So I'm gonna make a uh, chickpea smash sandwich which is based on a recipe from uh, Derek Simnet's ebook. And it's basically some chickpeas, some celery, some mustard, lemon juice, avocado, and some spices all uh, mashed up together, spread on top of some toast or a wrap. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna use a wrap today because I wanna show you guys how you can make something that you can easily take to work. I mean, I happily happen to be working from home today, but uh, you know, I could easily put this together in 10 minutes in the morning and, uh, and take it to work. Okay, so I'm gonna take a whole can of organic chickpeas and it's really important when you're using any kind of beans that you rinse them thoroughly because the liquid can contribute to your gas issues and none of us want that and none of our friends want that either. So we always give them a good wash. And then I'm just gonna chop up some celery. And once that's done, my chickpeas will have finished draining. So I'm gonna throw those in the bowl. Juice of half a lemon and also half an avocado, which I almost dropped all over the floor. And then I'm gonna add in my spices, which is some garlic powder, onion powder, and some dill weed. And then just take a potato masher and give that a good mashing. Don't wanna turn it into a complete pulp, but I do want everything to be uh, nice and uh, squashed down. Add the celery, and then I'm just gonna chop in some mixed greens there and some tomatoes, just to give it a little bit of crunch. And then we come to the uh, the last part, which is always the fun part, which is how do we roll it up. Luckily, I've spent many years going to Chipotle, so I've watched people do this hundreds of times, and uh, it looks so easy, so obviously I'm a master at it. Yep, totally kidding there. I'm not no master, but did, didn't do too bad a job with this one. Only lost one little half a tomato. And there you have it, two wraps. These are also good for meal prep. You see I made two of these, so. You know, you could eat one now, one later. I'm a greedy pig and I'm starving hungry, so I'm blatantly gonna eat both of these right now. But uh, it's there if you want it. So it's about 5.30 and I finished work for the day, but uh, I'm actually feeling really good and I don't have a lot on tonight, so I'm gonna go back to the gym and uh, do a little arm workout because I haven't really trained arms hard for quite a long time. So it'd be good to give those bad boys a workout. And uh, before I do that though, obviously I'm gonna have to have a little snack. So I think what I'm gonna do is make either some toast or some rice cakes with a bit of uh, peanut butter or almond butter and a banana on it and a bit of cinnamon because that is one of my favorite snacks. So this is it, it really is as simple as it sounds. Uh, organic brown rice cake, peanut butter, banana, and then a bit of cinnamon on top. That is absolutely delicious. Now sometimes I actually make this snack at work. I keep rice cakes and peanut butter on my desk in my cubicle so that I've always got a, an option for a snack and I can steal a banana from the kitchen. And without fail, every time I make it, I take it into a meeting and everyone always comments and says they wish they had it and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, boring vegan food for the win. Okay, so just got back from my second gym session and uh, I realize now why I don't go to the gym in the evenings very often because it was absolutely packed and really hard to get on the machines, but I did it. Got my workout in, got those guns pumped up, and now it's time for a big fat dinner. And uh, I'm gonna have ended up eating a lot of calories today, but you know, having done two workouts, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, so what I'm gonna make for dinner is some uh, mashed sweet potato, some stir fried up uh, split green peas, and a big salad to go with that. So I quickly wanna show you guys this product that I was I found on Instagram was advertised to me. It's from a company called Eti, E-T-E-E, -E, and uh, it's basically for wrapping up food uh, so that you're not reusing, uh, well, you're not using cling film and saran wrap or whatever and having to throw it away and contributing to plastic problems. And it's uh, reusable, it's covered in this like wax and it basically sticks to itself. So once it sticks, it will basically hold your food airtight. So, it's completely washable. Uh, you can't throw it in the dishwasher, you have to wash it by hand, but um, yeah, you can just put your food in like that. Like I got this red pepper left over. So I'm gonna wrap that up like that. And it all just molds together and sticks to itself. Now my red pepper is gonna be nice and safe and fresh for tomorrow. Okay, so dinner is almost ready. It's a pretty simple dinner tonight, uh, but I got my uh, 
sweet potatoes uh, all cooked up in there and uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mash those up with a bit of a nutritional yeast and some garlic powder I'm gonna go pretty light on the fats because uh, I've already eaten quite a lot of calories today and then I got my split peas to go on top of that and then I'm gonna just squeeze some lemon juice over the salad and that's it pretty simple dinner so there we have the finished article guys <laughs> I thought I could fit it all on one plate but <laughs> it's uh it's definitely a push I couldn't fit much more on there so I'm gonna uh, go enjoy this food okay guys so we're at the end of a big day of eating and uh, just to finish it all off I'm gonna put all my food into a chronometer and show you guys how I did against my macro and micronutrient goals now I'm not really counting calories right now I'm gaining weight I kind of know uh, how much I need to eat in order to gain but let's have a look anyway so here is all the food that I ate today uh, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys I also ate a grapefruit uh, a whole grapefruit mid-morning didn't think you guys would want to see me peeling a grapefruit so everything else in here is logged and I was aiming for about 3,000 calories I actually ended up getting 3,900 calories which is probably a bit more than I should have had but um, you know I did two workouts so I'm actually okay with that I easily met my protein goal and uh, my fats went a little bit over. Uh, if we scroll down and look at the micronutrients, we'll see that I smashed all of my vitamin goals with the exception of vitamin B12, which we know we have to supplement for, on a, and uh, vitamin D, which we get from the sun. So that's never gonna be tracked in here. And then uh, on the mineral side of things, absolutely smashed all of those targets right there. Uh, the only one that I fell a little short of was selenium and uh, you know you can get this from eating one Brazil nut so I could have made it but I also had my uh, Vivo Life Thrive today which is my multivitamin which also covers all of these needs so I, I definitely went way over on terms of what I needed and then on the protein side of things the chronometer actually breaks it down so you can see all the different uh, amino acids and uh, protein types and we can see that for a plant-based diet I still got everything that I needed and smashed all of those goals as well. So thanks very much for watching guys I really hope that you found this useful and maybe it's given you some ideas please do share your feedback in the comments I would love to hear from you as to how this is helping you and if you want to see different things that, uh, in my videos in future then please do call it out and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please, please, please do click the like button if you found this useful because that helps the videos get boosted up in the search rankings and uh, it helps more people to be able to see them. So until next time, take care.